Hello everyone. This is Judah Bernard with The Rise Creating Your Voice. I have here on the Zoom Live and Facebook Live, Chef Timothy Banks with Feed Yourself Well. I am Judah Bernard, the Wisdom Dialoguer and the Motivational Warrior. And I promise you that I was going to get some cooking specialist chefs on here. So hello, Chef Tim. And what Morning, if Judah. you don't mind, I'll doing? call you. Hello. Happy holidays, St. Nick. <laughs> there you go. Hello, happy holidays, St. Nick. So I'm Tim Banks, and I'm from Feed Yourself Well on YouTube. And it's a, a short channel that we do cooking videos on. Great, great. So without further ado, I want us to definitely know exactly what you're doing and the things that you're going to do today for our viewers that are viewing right now and also our listeners too as well. So we want to give a feedback just in case and everything you do, we want you to introduce it because we do have listeners too as well and those are going to view it too as well. So I hear you know how to do a breakfast casserole, but tell us how you're going to do that today. Oh yeah, we're gonna do this breakfast casserole. It's super easy. And what I like about this recipe is you can do this the night before. So if you wanna serve it Christmas morning, we're gonna take all the work out of it so you can be busy opening gifts and we're gonna have everything done the night before and then you're just gonna put it in the oven and let it go. We're even using disposable foil pans so you can throw that rascal away and get on with your day. So to start this recipe off, I've got six, whole eggs. I'm going to take these six eggs and just pour them in the bowl. With the whisk, I just want to break them up. Just like you're making scrambled eggs, you want to get them uh, nice and combine the yolk and the white together. So that's six eggs that have been whisked. To that, I'm going to add two cups of half and half. So 16 ounces, two cups, of half and half into the eggs. And again, give it a quick stir and a whisk. And there we go. Now we're gonna start building in the ingredient uh, seasonings. So I've got one full teaspoon of seasoned salt. Use whichever one you like. Sprinkle that right in. I've got a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I've got a quarter teaspoon of cumin, and this is what's going to start to give us our Southwest spin. So we got a quarter teaspoon of cumin in there that's been ground, and I've got a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. Put that in, whisk away all those ingredients, nice and combined. Now, I'm going to get rid of the whisk and move over to a spatula because I want to fold everything in now. So I've got a small onion that's been finely diced. So this is right about maybe two thirds of a cup, not quite a full cup of onion, but a small onion will do and just dice it up fine. Now for some color, I'm going to add green and red bell pepper. There's one cup of diced green bell pepper in there and a half a cup of red bell pepper, right in. Again, that's giving us our Southwest feeling, a little pepper mixed in with those onions. Now, frozen diced potatoes. Buy the bag of frozen diced potatoes, hash brown potatoes, so you're ready to go. I've got four cups of those. So two in here and two in here is four cups total, and they go right in. Get everything out. Okay, so I'm gonna fold the potatoes in. Nice and combined. I like the color of the red and green. We're in holiday mode for sure. Okay, next big deal, one pound of cooked turkey sausage. You buy the tube of turkey sausage, all you have to do is crumble it up, Brown it off, don't add anything to it. 
It's got enough seasoning already in it. You don't need to add anything to it. And then that's going to be our protein going in. So we got turkey sausage in. And lastly, my favorite part is sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to add some sharp cheddar to this. And it's one pound of sharp cheddar cheese that has been grated. So this cheese already comes ready to roll. I like the big grate, not the fine one, because I want to see that cheese throughout the dish. In they go. And again, I'm just tossing to combine. Get everything mixed in nicely. We're going to bake this today in a 9 by 13 disposable foil pan that, uh, like I said, once it's done, you can toss it and move on to getting ready for dinner. Because Christmas dinner is just as important as Christmas breakfast. But breakfast is such a big deal and you want something easy. So this can be made ahead. You can even freeze it if you want to. Wrap it up, stick it in the freezer, pull it out the night before to thaw. So it's ready to go in the morning or just prepare everything the night before and then into the oven it goes. So I've got my nine by 13 pan. I'm gonna hit it with a little no stick spray, especially in the corners. We don't want those corners to stick. And I'm going to pour all of this ingredients right into the pan. Let's get everything out that bowl. I don't want to leave anything behind. Okay. And just spread it out evenly. You want to get all those ingredients nice and level in your pan. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And you're gonna bake this for about 30, 40 minutes, just until it gets nice and brown and crispy and the center is no longer jiggly or wet appearing. It should appear dry in the center. And when you rock the pan back and forth, it shouldn't jiggle at all. I've got a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper on it. And I'm just going to put this foil pan on top because I wanna add stability to it, right? I don't wanna to try to wrestle with this foil pan while it's hot in the oven, and then I got to deal with it. So that's our Southwest Christmas breakfast casserole ready to go in the oven, or I can freeze this, or I can chill it overnight until the next morning. And of course, Judah, I've got one ready for you. So let me grab it. And you guys can see what that looks like already done. That's a gorgeous breakfast casserole. It's got lots of color. Let's take a piece out. This is the part I've been waiting for. <laughs> so take a piece out. And I got a little plate here. I got a bigger spatula here. The no stick spray goes a long way. Oh yeah, can y'all see that? Yes. Man, steaming and dreaming. That's what you want on Christmas morning, something easy, put a little toast on the side of it, make some uh, fresh mimosas to go with this, whatever it takes to get you in the mood, get you in the spirit, to unwrap those gifts, and you'll be ready to go for Christmas Day. Can I taste it? Yes. Let me grab a fork, because I want to know what this tastes like. Let me grab a fork, too. <laughs> yeah, get your fork. Oh, man. Mmm. A winner. It's flavorful. The cheese, the eggs, the onions, the peppers, the sausage, everything is coming through. This is a keeper. You want to be sure to keep this one. So if you guys are just doing nothing else today, head over to YouTube and go to Feed Yourself Well and subscribe. And you're going to see tons of recipes there already. We're going to add this one for sure. Judah, I'm going to get you all the ingredients. So you can do your thing. I just want to eat now. 
Wow. Thank you, Chef Tim, for that. Feed yourself well. The Christmas breakfast casserole and the time that you made it in, 15 to what kind of, um, how many minutes? Yeah. To what, um, and it comes out beautiful. It has the Christmas, um, the holiday colors in it. It has a lot of um, creativity in it. And then it's enough to actually feed a family of how many? Oh, you could eat uh, four to six people easily. Four you to six people get six easily. Portions out of this. Right. I love it. So, I, I mean, what can you do after you open up your Christmas presents and all that stuff and the kids are sitting around the tree still? You can actually just feed them that until actually um, ho the holiday dinner is ready. So, right. I thank you for that. So, I just want to, you know, let's not eat anymore. Let's yeah. sit down and have a chat about Chef Tim and how Chef Tim came to be Chef Tim. Sure. Well, um, I've been a chef for many years now, over 30 years. Uh, I went to culinary school back in 92, 93, and I uh, started working in the industry right out of culinary school. Uh, I was a chef in a hotel. I've ran different catering operations, just a life full of food and food experience. Uh, I recently relocated back to the uh, mid-Atlantic. I live in Maryland. And um, to do a job in culinary, continuing culinary, I'm in higher education now. So that's still a part of my career that is blossomed in a whole new direction. Uh, even the whole YouTube thing was all about, you know, during this pandemic time, being home, I wanted to have something to do and I wanted to share some of my knowledge with people. So that's how I started the YouTube channel and cooking and creating for people and family and friends and new friends. And that's what it's all about for me. Yes, and I love it. Saying that you said new friends and, and just being honest that Chef Tim and I, we met actually on, on Facebook and I said, hey, I wouldn't mind having you on my um, podcast. He said, hey, let's shoot for it. We set up a date. And that's the thing now is knowing the unknown. Had I not hit Chef Tim up and say, hey, look, I have this opportunity to, to, to come on my podcast and actually do your cooking live, I mean, we probably would have never met. So in this society, when the pandemic is such like this, we have so many avenues in which we can meet interesting people and form great relationships with them. So I'm looking forward to forming a great relationship with Chef Tim. Also, just being part of his camaraderie. Hopefully, we can get him back up on the Rise to Radio Voice and making sure that his culinary skills and also his talent is put out there in the world and the universe for all to see. And that is what the Rise to Radio Voice has created, is a social platform for those who are just out there just doing, I, I don't even want to say basic stuff. They're doing great things, but no one knows about them. So this is why... Um, I created the Rise Creative Podcast to make sure that we have this platform from my kitchen to Chef Tim's kitchen, actually honoring him and giving him due word where, we're, um, where his creativity is because he's a creative in the kitchen. So thank you, Chef Tim. Are there any, what, you said they can find you on YouTube. Are there any other social media sites they can find you on to as well? Sure, you can also on Instagram. I'm on Instagram and it's feed.yourself.well on Instagram. And there's a Facebook page. It's feed.yourself.well on Facebook as well. Hey, Judah, thank you. I'm happy to come on and do this with you. Anytime you, you need a chef or something, give me a shout. I'll be happy to help you out and we'll keep cooking. Thank you. I'm going to hold you to that because I'm going to tell you, we're going to talk later because I want this at least once a month or either once a, every week, but definitely because the talent is there. I'm ready to taste. So thank you for your unwavering volunteerism. And also thank you for creating this, uh, this, this avenue right now and opening up and giving the Rise Creating Your Voice listeners an opportunity to, to view a great person like yourself. As I always say, 
And if I can introduce that, we do have a 1230 Facebook Live coming up, and it's going to be a Kenya Ragwa, and we'll be talking about self-love. We'll also have another cooking spot, which is Cheryl Peterson, which is the 40-year-old vegan, at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we want you guys all to join back and listen, because... This is what the Rise Creating Your Voice podcast is about. It's creating social avenues, educating people, also motivating people to cook, and also just providing a platform of communication and having positive communication all around the world. On behalf of Rise Creating Your Voice podcast, as we always say, is tell a friend, tell a phone, tell your spouse, Hey, tell everyone, we'll see you on the next podcast. Goodbye and happy holidays. Bye. Happy holidays. If you would like to tell your story on The Rise or have a possible interview with The Rise Creating Your Voice podcast, email the trjuda at outlook.com. And on the subject line, please place potential interview and an expert will get back in touch with you as soon as possible. Looking forward to those interviews and or telling your story.